Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've literally just finished watching a film and that film in question, a bit of a kiddish sort of film. However, the reason why I've watched it is uh, because I've downloaded the game for my iPad and uh, I've been playing Pokemon Fire Red and uh, I've pretty much dug this off the shelf, I've dusted it off. Um, it's been a long time really since I've watched it, probably a couple of years and it was one of the first DVDs that I ever got when I um, got my PS2 many many years ago and that film is Pokemon the first movie and I thought I'd do a review about it really because you know I do reviews of films and such like that but the reason why I watched it is because I've been playing the game. Uh, I grew up for many years uh, alongside Pokemon I was a fan of it um, many hours of my childhood I spent playing the card games collecting them playing the card games against other friends and uh, even playing the computer games watching it on TV really this is the only film of uh, Pokemon that I've ever watched due to recent activities of playing the fire red game of uh, Pokemon I thought I'd dust this off like I say and watch it to kick it all off, is a bit of an old film. It was made back in 1998, so it is uh, nearly a decade old, this film. You can tell because it's a cartoon animated film, so you can see where the um, animations really have not stood the test of time. Uh, the gist of the story is Ash from Pallet Town, the young uh, Pokemon trainer, he uh, sets out to be the best. Pokemon champion ever and all that and one day he gets an invitation from the world's greatest Pokemon uh, to come and battle him really and of course you know Ash being Ash he uh, accepts the challenge and he goes off uh, on his quest to uh, fulfill the uh, invitation and battle the number one greatest Pokemon master. Uh, trouble is there's a storm and uh, not everybody who's invited can get there there's only literally four people who get there, including Ash. Little does he know that the number one Pokemon master in the world is actually a Pokemon himself. And that Pokemon is Mewtwo. Now Mewtwo is a clone of Mew. Mew being the rarest Pokemon of them all uh, at the time of this film being made. Uh, at the start of the film, somehow they've cloned Mew, they found a fossil of him. And uh, of course, you know, cloning technology in the Pokemon world is up to scratch. So the clone Mewtwo from Mew. Mew is a bit annoyed that he is a clone and a science project of humans. So he breaks out, he destroys the lab, and he sets out to be the best Pokemon. Destroy the world, destroy humans, teach them a lesson, and uh, live in harmony with his cloned army of Pokemon. Uh, in the process he invites the best trainers around the world uh, to his little island and of course the first test is to get on the island itself by uh, you know, any means necessary whether it's a sea dwelling Pokemon or a flying dwelling Pokemon. Uh, that's the first test really just to get there and if your Pokemon is strong enough then he'll clone them. And of course Ash being Ash he doesn't like it and he is uh, the pesky plucky little uh, little guy from Pallet Town who would step in front of a bus if it meant uh, saving his Pokemon and that's pretty much what he does. It's, it's an alright film you know it's uh, I wouldn't say it's stood the test of time the graphics aren't great um, it has been on my shelf for many many years the reason why I've watched it is simply because um, I've been playing the Pokemon game on my iPad it relives some good childhood memories. Like I said, it was literally the first film uh, that I ever had uh, alongside Deep Blue Sea. Uh, then this is you know, one of the first DVDs I've ever had. You can tell it's old because it's in a cardboard case. Some of the first DVDs came in cardboard cases. Um, but yeah, it's alright. I enjoyed it. It's only about 96 minutes long, but it's worth it. You know, uh, it. It was a, a film to watch on a lazy Sunday afternoon, really. Um, but it was good to see Mew and Mewtwo, the two, at the time, rarest Pokemon that you could find. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. 
It's an alright film. Uh, if you're a big kid like me, then uh, you might enjoy it. If you're a kid who wants to find uh, what Pokemon is all about, then uh, you know this is definitely for you. Um, yeah, all for you big kids out there. Uh, if you want to watch a film from your childhood, uh, then you know Pokemon the first movie is pretty much aimed at you. Yeah, thanks for watching my pretty quick review of uh, Pokemon the first movie. If you're a big kid like me, um, yeah, by all means watch it. If you're ever a fan of Pokemon when you're a youngster, then yeah, this one is for you really. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my review of Pokemon the first movie. Don't forget, guys, we the devoted links are down below. Use TobyWTD gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear. Links down below as per usual. Guys, thank you for watching my review of Pokemon the first movie. Um, some good childhood memories. I uh, had to dust it off. Uh, sat on my shelf for many, many years. But pretty cool film if you ever grew up uh, playing the Pokemon games. So, thanks for watching my review of Pokemon the first movie.